everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the Warm Welcome Bundle. It is a sneak peek from the 2022 spring catalog. Um, right now, I'm filming in October 2022. Oh, I said spring 2022, didn't I? Spring 2023 catalog. So right now, it's not available in a catalog, but it is available online. You can go to the Stampin' Up! website and you'll find it. Warm Welcome, um, type that in the search uh, box and you'll find it. It will be available in that next spring catalog. So I've got lots of projects over on my blog this week. I hope you'll jump over there, click the link here in the description and check out all the other things. There's also a free PDF there for you with all the measurements for today's card. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is stamp that door. There are, there are two doors in this set. The first one is what we're gonna do today. And then there's another one that is just the door, like a, a die cut embossed door where it doesn't require any stamping. All right, we're gonna stamp this door, the open door on smoky slate cardstock in memento black. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of detail to it. Whoops, this is why I like the Stamparata. See how I missed that? I can just lay it back down and stamp it again. It looks like I didn't ink it. So I'll just ink it again and lay it back down. And it's in the exact same place that it was. All right. So I'm just gonna take my dark, no, let's start with light. I always like to go light first. Light smoky slate. And I'm gonna add in uh, shadows in these, the top and the left. Now it's gonna go on darker than it's gonna stay. It's gonna dry lighter. Um, if it dries too light, you can go back with the dark smoky slate, but I believe that we're not gonna need to do that. All right, and then we'll just go down this line right here. I don't have my glasses. All right, so we've just added a little dimension to it. Now we're gonna stamp the adorable little flower image. But you know what I decided? I think we need a cat too. So we're gonna stamp the cat. We've got the flowers and we've got the kitty. All right, we're gonna use, I've got pumpkin, I mean, <laughs> not pumpkin pie, flirty flamingo. And we're gonna start there. And I'm gonna color half the flowers in light flirty flamingo and half in dark flirty flamingo. I think flirty flamingo and smoky slate look really well, uh, look really gr good together. All right, I'm gonna color every other line here on her shirt in um, light as well. Okay, now go back with your dark. Color in those other flowers. Boy, I really need to bring my glasses to my videos. I have never needed to do that. And now, suddenly, my eyes are like, we're tired, Erica. Okay, the other thing I want to do on the light is I'm going to put a little dot of the dark there in the middle. Okay, now light old olive. Boop, 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 boop. And then I'm just gonna take dark saffron. For the paper. For our kitty, let's just use Smoky Slate to go along with the theme of our card here. go. Let's add just a little bit of pink inside her ears. And last, we'll add some color to her hand. You can use any of the colors, uh, blends you want. I'm using petal pink, but we've got a wide range of colors for our skin tones. So I'm going to cut this off so it's going to fit into my mini cut and emboss machine. And we're going to bring that over and get all of these cut out. Let's see if that door is gonna fit. There we go. Grab your dies and let's run it through. All right, I think we're almost ready to put our card together. I've got a few more pieces over here. 
we have the inside of the door. There is a die that cuts this piece out perfectly so you don't have to measure it. See, it's a perfect fit. We're gonna take our little bouquet of flowers and we'll put a dimensional right there and have that coming in from the side like that. All right, oh, I forgot to color the other stripes, didn't I? I was like, wait a minute, something is wrong here. There we go. Add a little more pop of color. There we go. All right, now I have already cut out the sign. The sign is also from the same dies. It looks like it's from our stitched rectangles. Put our cat. Well, I'm not sure where we're gonna put the cat. Let's set it to the side. It looks like it's from the stitch rectangles, rectangle dies, but it is not. It is from this stamp set and it fits the sentiments perfectly. So we're gonna stamp welcome in Flirty Flamingo right in the middle. I have already embossed a piece of basic white with our brick and mortar embossing folder. We're gonna give ourselves kind of a ground line here with a piece of smoky slate. And then we will take our door and locate our dimensionals. I will do like that. And set that right there. The sign will go up here like it's on the side of the house, right there. We've got a metallic uh, sign hanger, if I don't drop it, right here. I've cut it out of brushed metallic cardstock, and I'm gonna just very lightly put some glue on the back. Set that down in there like that. And there we go, it's hanging on the, the wall. All right, now our kitty. Maybe our kitty should be to the side or over here or over here. Hmm, I think maybe to the side like that. Okay, now we're gonna put this on our card base. The last thing we need to do is add that doorknob. The stamp set has a couple of doorknob options for you but I just find it easier to use a brushed metallic um, adhesive backed dot cinch. It's a super easy and we'll get one that matches the brushed metallic card stock that we used right there and done. A welcome card that could be for a new baby, that could be for a new home, welcome to the neighborhood, welcome to a new job, all kinds of options. Okay, guys, make sure you click the link, hop back to my blog, grab that free PDF and check out the other welcome home projects that I have. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.